This dragon boat, or May 28th, marks the overthrow of the Dirk, a military junta that ruled Ethiopia and Eritrea with an iron fist for some 17 years. Dirk, officially the Provisional Military Administrative Council, PMAC, was established in 1974 as the coordinating committee of the armed forces, police, and territorial army by officers and was initially led by Colonel Mengistu Haile On the 12th of September 1974, the Dirk would overthrow the Ethiopian Emperor, Emperor Haile Selassie, amidst nationwide protests to establish a military government. <laughs> The Dirk was initially split into two, with one fraction led by the temporary chairman of the PMAC, Mengistu Hailemariam, and an opposing fraction allied against him. These differences would later be resolved through the assassination of 58 high-level Dirk officials in February of 1977. This would be the start of a dark period in Ethiopia's modern history, where assassinations became the most apparent means through which political differences are resolved. Unafraid by the prospects, Ethiopian youth, led mostly by Ethiopia's People's Revolutionary Party, a party of more than 4 million members, would present formidable opposition to the military junta. The APRP was a modern political party that was formed in 1972, mainly aimed at banishing feudalism in Ethiopia and overthrowing monarchical rule. The Derg responded to challenges by revolutionary groups such as the EPRP and activists that resisted its control of the state with the declaration of the infamous Red Terror. The Red Terror was a violent campaign against political opponents and was carried out between 1976 and 1978 in urban areas across Ethiopia, leading to the death of a minimum of 10,000 people. The declaration of Red Terror and the then revolutionary square in Addis Ababa would not sugarcoat the intentions of Mangustu Hailemare. He would declare death to counter-revolutionaries and smash a bottle that contained red liquid. EPRP members would be the main targets of the first wave of the Red Terror. The EPRP would be crushed and forced to retreat to Tigray. But the killings would continue in the cities, with the Derg turning on Mason, a political organization made up of intellectuals that had chosen to cooperate with and support the Derg. The Red Terror brought an end to any explicit opposition activity through extrajudicial killings, torture, series of massacres, and abductions, terrorizing a generation into silence. Signs on the streets of some of the major cities across the country would read that the Red Terror would succeed and engulf the whole nation. Bodies would be left on the streets for days. Families of victims told they would pay with their lives if they were to attempt to pick them up. At one point during the campaign, when authorities found it exceedingly impossible to fund their campaign of terror, they would require families to pay for the price of the bullet in exchange for the bodies of their children. Tens of thousands were tortured using a technique known as wafelala where hands of the targets would be tied together with their feet and would be suspended from a horizontal plane with body parts, rich and nerve endings, including soles, palms, and genitals, were bitten with sticks or electric cables. Other forms of torture included rape and other forms of sexual violence. But even before the start of the Red Terror, a revolution was brewing in Tigray. The Tigrayan people knew that the regime had no intention of democratizing the state or allowing the peoples of Ethiopia the right to learn or govern their own language. So, when famine brewed its ugly head in Tigray, in 1980, the Derg would take it as an opportunity to squash the revolution by using aid as a weapon of war. According to the United Nations, the famine of the 1980s would lead to the death of one million people. Dawn, and as the sun breaks through the piercing chill of night on the plain outside Coram, it lights up a biblical famine, now in the 20th century. This place, say workers here, is the closest thing to hell on earth.
በር ተደረቁ አህመድና ለሐሰዝ ቀይድ ህዝብ በነፈርትና ከድካ ጠጥቅቶ like most things the brutal rule of the dark two had to come to an end in may of 1991 the ethiopia people's revolutionary democratic front eprdf would overthrow the dark and put into place a constitution that accommodated ethiopia's cultural as well as political diversity <laughs> 